So hello everyone, welcome to this review of the Rotring mechanical pencils. I have here the 600 and also the 800, both really famous. So we're going to take a look to the technical aspects of them, to the design flows of each model. And also we're going to take a look to the feeling and the hand when writing. And we have to discuss the price in order to arrive to a conclusion. So stay with me in order to find out uh, these characteristics. In order to start then, let's begin with the 600. Uh, both of these pencils are in 0.5 millimeters, the ones that I have here, and also the silver one, but you can find them also in the black version. This is the 600, and here the 800. So both of these pens are made in Japan, and we're going to compare them uh, following these uh, technical aspects that I have written down below. So let's begin then with the length of these pencils. We have here the 600 has a total length of 14 centimeters from tip to the back, while the 800 has 14,2, not much of a difference over there. But of course, as you will see later, this has the option to be collapsed and in this position, we have 13,2 centimeters long. About the width, uh, both have the same width. Of course, compare on the grip area. And I'm going to show you how it looks like from the top. There you can see the 800 on the left in this case, and the length of the tips. Quite similar just a small difference on the 800 and the bottom part here, you can see it's a bit longer, but not uh, for a lot. So the only uh, difference that we can find, uh, which can make a, yeah, an important uh, notice is the weight because the 600 has 23 grams while the 800 has 25 grams. Yes, you're going to say two grams is not so much, but I don't know how it's possible when you grab it in the hand, the 800 feels heavier, feels heftier as the 600. There is a difference over there. And also not only that, but it is important to find where the balance point of these pens are. So that means how it's going to uh, lean against your hand when you're holding uh, the pencil when you try to write. So the way that I did this, really simple, I grabbed this box in which they came in and I grabbed the pencil just like that and try to balance it in order to find where it's going to keep uh, steady. And what I found out is for the 600, this balance point is around here. I measure it and it is 6,9 or seven centimeters from the tip. So let's say if you want to measure this over here and I'm going to show you the label so you can see also where it lands more or less. So it's really uh, on the lower part. So not on the label, but uh, below it. And which is really cool about the 800 as a extra thing, if you will, that the balance point of this one is uh, more or less exactly in this O and the rod ring label. So this is quite cool. And when you measure this point, also uh, from the tip, when you get to measure that, it is at 7.4, more or less, uh, millimeters from the tip. So it's quite higher, and we're going to see later when we talk about the writing feeling of these pens, how this affects the writing. Uh, the other thing is that I wanted to see how much is the lead advance for each push that you do at the back. So for the 600, you need more or less, um, yes, 15 pushes here on the back in order to uh, achieve one centimeter of lead. And for the 800, you need less. This of course is an average, it depends how deep uh, you pressure and also the tolerance of the mechanism. I'm going to do one push just to show you. This is 600 and here the 800. As I said, it really depends. This was really small in comparison. 
but if you press harder you can have a bigger part so compared side to side let me show you you can see the difference right there so uh, what else about the grip then uh, the grip both of them feel really nice they are not so harsh on your hands they are not going to hurt you at least i don't feel it like this and when you are writing with them they're really good because if you sweat a bit or if you use them for too long they are not going to slide that's the problem that i have for example with this parker jotter over here that the grip is really yeah non-existent i would say so when you're writing too much or for too long then your hand is sliding down which is really annoying uh, when you have to do long writing sessions let's talk then about the mechanism i am going to uh, tear them apart in order to show you how they are built inside i'm gonna start with the 600 this is full metal body and here you have to take them apart like this i'm going to show you a close-up this is metal and also here is metal but this part as you can see this white part is plastic so you have to undo this first and then it comes like this so i'm going to put it here in order to show you a close-up as uh, we're going to discuss later in the flows of the design you will see that this one in particular is uh, having a fixed tip so most likely this will bend when you drop it and this will cost you that you have to replace this part i know that you can buy this as a accessory and then this is the upper part here You can see that here where the lead is there is an o-ring actually so you have to be careful not to lose this part but as i was telling you this is plastic the white part and this is uh, yeah it is in metal so i don't think you will be undoing this often in order to damage this plastic part but perhaps it's something you want to consider and here the upper part is also metal so I want to show you as well this part, the body itself. And what I want to show you here at the back is the rubber. Actually, it is in this piece. Something that <laughs> caught my attention is uh, the way this is built. So it has this deformation in order to enter there by pressure. But in this case, you don't have a pin. If your lead gets stuck here um, or here, actually, on the tip, which happens a lot, then by this one, you have not uh, yes, something to help you to go inside and clean it. So this is one difference also with the 800. I am going to let this on the side so we don't get confused. And then I'm going to show you the 800. Also full metal body. In this case, it comes like this, but this piece is attached over here. I am not sure you can remove this and I'm going to show you a close up now from the bottom part. As you can see, metal, and this is the upper part. So I want to show you here how it's <laughs> with the rubber. So you take this cap out and this is, I will put them the same way comparison to the other one. 
you can see this is uh, one solid piece, this metal part, and this has a pin attached to it. So this is, uh, you can tell, it's a lot uh, better quality versus this one. Here on the back, this is the 600 and this is the 800. Just to take into consideration. So uh, I'm going to <laughs> build this up again. Oops, I tossed all the LEDs that I had in my uh, mechanical pencil. So I'm going to uh, build this up and then we're going to check from the outside how this mechanism works. So before I close it up, I want to show you also another difference here at the top. And perhaps you can notice it that the 600 on my left, this part is metal versus this part being plastic on the 800. Also another thing to consider. And here the caps, yeah, both are metal in uh, both cases. So how is the mechanism from the outside? The 600, of course, is the more uh, simple one, the traditional one, if you will. One click and you're ready to go. Versus the 800, where you have this advanced mechanism where you have to turn this part and then you have to advance the LED. The problem that this gives, and we're going to see this in the design flaws in more detail, but here you have to push a bit until the golden part is coming out. When you achieve this, then you press farther and then you have the LED. This makes this pencil to feel a bit more hmm, not so nice, not so clicky, not so precise as it is with the 600. But uh, yes, I don't think it ruins the whole ex uh, experience, but it is something to consider. This is uh, the 600 is more satisfying to push than this one over here. So let's move now to the design flows. Design flows. What do I mean with it? Here you have the 600. This tip is fixed. And this is the main problem with it, that when you drop it, it's heavy. So when it lands, it would land here and you will damage the tip. And most likely you will have to find a replacement for this part, if you will. And that's it about the 600. It doesn't have anything else that you could critique about it. But the 800, on the other hand, you have more things to worry about. First is this um, feedback that you have here that the problem that it creates is, okay, you have a double push. And also here, which is a common problem that you will find in this mechanism is that the tip here will move. Do you see that? The interaction between this body and this one can move and it gives you a different experience when you're writing with it, but also makes a click if you're writing with it in a way that uh, you make a lot of pressure and then release pressure and release you will make a click <laughs> that can be annoying to you maybe so you have to consider that as well so let's go now to the feeling of these mechanical pencils so how do you feel then when writing with one of them so i am going to start with a 600 and i am going to give you a sound test here we go Now I am going to do the same with the 800. Here I want to show you that the 800 can also be clicky when you're writing with it.
But if I rotate it, doesn't make so much noise. So it's quite tricky. How much you have to pay though for each of them? Well, the 600 cost me 27 euros, while the 800 cost me 38 euros. Both of them you can find in Amazon or eBay, so you have to check for the actual price. So which one you should have then? Well, both of them have their pros and their contras. The 600 feels solid. When you have it in your hand, there is no rattling going on. In comparison to the 800, it is also lighter, but I'd still say that it falls into the heavy pencils category. And I believe you're writing with it for maybe 15 minutes without resting, you will feel tired in your hand. And I guess this small difference between the weight of the 600 and the 800, I think makes no difference. Uh, as a decided factor for each of them. The other thing that you have here is this clip. This pocket clip is really stiff, but it is the same in the 800 and it's hard to put it into your pocket, but I guess once it is there, it will feel really, really secure. Another good thing about the 600 is that you have this pencil as an icon. It's been there for many years and many people uh, seem to love it. The very, very subjective thing is that the balance point is not in the O as it is in the 800, but a bit lower. And also you should consider that it is also, this balance point is lower than the 800, even if it is not in the O. So when you're writing, you have this balance point or the center of mass of the pen a bit lower. What about the 800 then? Well, the 800 is very innovative in their design. It is not the only pencil that you can find with this um, mechanism, but for sure it is interesting to have this in this quality. And also you should consider that you have gold on the tip and here gold on the back. Of course, this mechanism has its flows. For example, here the tip, as I showed you before, there is a rattling noise when you're writing with it. And it is quite funny because sometimes when you're writing, you hear it, but if you twist the pencil, then you don't hear it anymore. So yeah, you cannot be 100% sure. Uh, the other feeling that you have with the 800 is when you are feeling the pushing action here. You have this double click, can be annoying, but in comparison to the 600, this one is one click and it feels more tactile than the 800. But I believe that the 800 for the design and the way it looks, uh, it is really looking high value versus the 600 that looks like an average a pen. Of course, it is beautiful in itself. And yeah, I think this is also a difference to consider. Of course, you can also hide this pen when you're not using it. In this one, you cannot. So perhaps you can damage this point. Of course, when you are using this and you drop it, it will damage in the same way as this one. The other difference to tell the last one is that here in the inside, the 800 is metal 100% versus here the 600 that you have a piece of plastic. You can see back in the video to tell the difference. And also here the rubber cap in the inside, the 800 has a better quality one with a small uh, yeah, tip to clean the interior in case you have some lead stock over here. So this was the 600 and the 800. Please, if you have questions, write them down below. I'd be happy to help you. I hope this video was helpful to you. And please don't forget to subscribe and to like it. This will be really helpful to me. See you next time in the future videos.